Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Industria. We are still trying to reach the town hall and we are moving through a building. We acquired I think two new weapons in the last episode, the SMG and this wonderful shotgun and obviously the shotgun amazing in close quarters right that is the best part about it anything yes okay smg right or pistol no that's a pistol so i would say let's use the pistol uh, if we are able to go back Tape recording uh, from the last Industria Festival. Ten years of peace and safety. Ten years of industry. Walter? Citizens of Hackavik. What? This is your Walter, wait, what? wait, 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 wait. that's Walter's voice. What's going on here? Huh. Atlas failed to diminish us. Atlas How failed to scare did us. you know his first name? We are still here. This is the man forever. I'm looking for. Where is he? You're looking for Rosendahl. No, no. Yes, I, I, I'm looking for Walter. Walter Rebel, not Rosendahl. But this is King Rosendahl. Walter Rosendahl. It, it's his voice, his recording. <sighs> Even the statue. I understand. And I don't know what's going on here. His voice. His statue. I'm so confused. I want answers. Yes, I'd like a little clarity on this matter myself. It's like I said, he, he left the city after the evacuation he organized. Uh, just continue your way to the town hall. To his old office. Maybe you Will do. So, traverse the factory. I need to shut down the hive tech blocking access to the factory ahead. The cables might lead to the relays. Find out where he headed out to. What's the fastest way? You have to cross the old Rosendahl factory in front of you. After that, you can't miss it. Walter Rosendahl. Are you kidding me, Walter? Yeah, so, he, first of all, great that we found health, a health potion. So, he only went through the machine mere minutes ahead, right? Which then either translated in 10 years or in this timeline, he is king. Or a king. There was a explodey dude here, right? There he is. Two of them, nice. Okay, why was I a little bit wasteful here with the pistol rounds? We still have a couple of... <gasps> No, no, don't hit me! No, no, no! That came a little bit out of nowhere.
I guess we some somehow need to find our way down there. And we need to do something with that cable. Yeah, okay. Now, this episode, I guess, then will have quite a large ex urban exploring part in it. There was no way into this industrial building. At least none I have seen. There's got to be something here, right? I cannot believe... That the only thing we could do here, I mean, yeah, I could jump down. I could get there and I would have a way back, so to say. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> yeah, it would have been amazing if it would have exploded right next to me, right? Pistol rounds, thank you. And yeah, I might have taken absolutely the raw... Well, because I think... I don't know. I... Right now at least don't want to accept that... Okay, I might have glided down here. Oh boy. Letter, always much appreciated. Now that leads us, don't fall down buddy, right to the roof. And to a healing potion. Th thank you. Come on, pick it up. Yeah, all I can do is drop down again. That cannot be it, right? Because that would mean HP loss. Well, anyways. Okay, we use the health potion. So, so far, the thing we did here was deactivating the charging device. For whatever reason, we will maybe, <laughs> not maybe, I guess probably find out soonish why or what precisely that was or will be useful for, right? Let's see if I can take down the little bugger with The 
the pistol. Good, they are unable to traverse the cabling. That's good, thank you. You survived! Bugger. And you maybe know it, I am a little bit greedy sometimes. I just want to check if I... Ow, oh, damn it. Okay, there were pistol rounds, which I could not pick up before we got into this area. I thought I might use them. Or pick them up, but no. <coughs> oh, hello. Come on. Okay, yeah. I thought that might be something. That door is locked. Yeah, it's good that we are able to hear them robots. So, as useful as the shotgun is, you still should aim for the middle parts. Oh boy. So he was guarding the bloody bathroom. So, the election. The man from another place will be the opposing candidate to rival King Dominic uh, III at a public rally in the Institute of Applied Science. Hakavik Rosendell explained that um, Hakavik's only hope is a clear step against the incoming threat he calls Atlas. He further showed many fundamental changing innovations, including a completely new energy source that could outrun coal and steam energy by far. The lasting unhappiness of the people of Hakavik lay into Rosendell's hand. If Rosendale wins the election, the city can expect many fundamental changes. If he loses, Dominic III needs to show his strength against the ongoing events. <clears throat> I hope that the game is actually gonna give us some clearance on what exactly changed not only the robots or the bots, but to um was background hopefully it's not gonna be just some big mystery here right that is what i'm hoping for and we're gonna need to find the riffle soonish right there's a bot on the other side which we will engage very very soon That would have been ideal if he would have already the riffle, right? Just saying.
Okay, let's use that so we can pick up that. I'm not certain if we will be here at a later stage then. Doesn't this look beautiful? The water down there, even though it's brown. And I guess you should not um, jump into it. At least that's here in Berlin the case. Because it's not that... I mean, it's a river going through a town, right? It obviously is quite dirty. I wonder... Alright, we are back, we are back. We, or I, needed to replay everything. Well, not everything, but, well, 15 minutes of playtime. Or 14? 14 minutes. So, okay, I did the mistake myself, I jumped down there. But honestly, I didn't expect to be reset that heavily back. Anyways, I ain't complaining. Not at all, don't get me wrong. Yep, I wanted to close the door. That I pressed. Good that it worked out, but it took a little bit. Let's slide. Well, not slide. I would like to go there, but I don't even know the way back. Water is instant death. Careful, buddy. Now, that would be quite annoying if I would be doing something stupid. All right, good. And I'm gonna drag the shotgun out, because I'm quite certain that some bots are gonna be appearing. Spawning, appearing, whatever you want to call it. I did not... Okay. Not gonna complain about hitboxes here. Yeah, alright. On it goes. Oh, hello, buddy. SMG ammunition might be very useful. Ah, okay, that's the way on. All right, neat. Who would have guessed? The door is locked. Hey, you still there? Tell me about Rosendahl. Where did he come from? Well, he arrived here just like you. One day he just appeared in the Institute to all the scientists' surprise. I can imagine. He had so much knowledge. He was something like an angel. Angel helping us selflessly to fight the machines that had plagued us for so long. An angel with many secrets. Well, I imagine that as a king, you've got to keep quite a few things close to the chest. Speaking of secrets, what is your relationship to him? Well, we, um, 
you know, love each other. We're a couple. Huh. It, you know, in theory, that essentially makes you the queen of Hakovic. <laughs> Our queen of ruins. With only one subject, as it seems. Well, better than an old man in a wheelchair, if you ask me, your majesty. Oh, come on. All right, there are they are a couple. I did not expect that to be honest. Yeah, I'm a little bit in fear, not in fear, it was a little bit. I'm excited here to actually walk into something new a abomination or anything all right thank you for not you know seeing that the technology the model first of all i am healthy and well the, the cold is gone and i'm feeling more alive than ever you asked how our city changed lately with this new king we have his name is rosendale and i can t tell you a lot has changed for the good since i attended a big demonstration of the few energy sources one invention after the other was introduced into our public life it started with the electrical street lamps yeah you can't imagine how bright they are i'm writing underneath an electrical light on my desk all free of charge no more cold dust clearer air and quite a city hope you will visit visit us soon my sister and i can hardly wait ah that is the way Now. Yeah, there's somehow at certain times you see through the walls. There's a little bit, I don't know if you call it glitch bug, whatever. Where the walls are, so to say, blinking. And I think you see the stuff been or behind them what? I don't know what that is and how that can happen. But that's so far one little ugly thing of the game, I have to admit. I am gonna so make this jump. Huh. You gotta start the machines, all right. Or the crane. <laughs> then let's... So either we have to open up a door. Or we need to start a machine. These are the two things I can only currently think of. What is, by the way, the diary saying? Yeah, the town hall is supposed to be safe, yada yada yada, that we already know. Anything like a door? Anything I could use? No. Or was the only purpose here do something on the outside? Oh, 
All right. I need to shut down the Hive tech blocking XSD factory ahead. The cables might lead for the relays. Okay, that we already knew that we have done, right? One, two, that we have done. All right, I found it here. Haha, <laughs> if I would have used the light here, I would have seen it. All right, uh, wealth will use. And then let's open up that. Oh boy. I feel a little bit stupid that I wasted five minutes here. But it is sometimes how it is, right? And now we are on the other side, but you guys, that then is right now gonna bring us to the end of today's episode. And you know it, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed today's episode, then please give me a little tinsy thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode tomorrow. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.